some part of SQL scripts, I see set timing, and in other parts, I see just timing. Is the latter just a shorthand for the other? And the answer is no, they are separate functions. Uh, a lot of people don't know about the timing function. If I've got a long query, I'm joining user source to itself, I go, oh, that seemed to take a bit long. What do I normally do if I want to see how long it took? I'll do set timing on. And I run it, and you can see it took about two and a half seconds. It's a common thing we do. Oh, two and a half seconds for that. Set timing on shows you the elapsed time for the last statement you run. The timing command is different. The timing lets you define start and end boundaries. So I want you to start timing, then I can run this query and this query and this query. When I do timing stop, I get the total elapsed time since I did timing start. So it's not times per each statement, it's simply a stopwatch. Start the stopwatch, finish the stopwatch, show me a thing. It's pretty cool. Even cooler is it's not just timing start and timing stop, you can have named timers. So I can say, I want to start a timer called overall, start a timer called query one. Query one finishes, so I want to stop the query one timer. Query one took two and a half seconds. I continue on running this query and this query. I say timing stop the overall timer, which is this one. And it says, yes, the overall time was seven and a half seconds, which makes sense, three times two and a half. So I can nest timers. So I can have a timer for the entire process, a timer for this much, a timer for this much, etc. I can have them nested. What I can't do is overlap them. So I can't start query one and two, and then start query two and three, and then stop query one and two and then stop query two and three. I get the wrong results because they weren't nested. I actually had two timers that overlapped. Every time you hit a new timer start, we reset. So in this case, timer query one and two, which was meant to take five seconds, didn't work. It said it only took effectively two seconds because it, the timer got reset here. So you can't nest them like that, but you can nest them in a hierarchical fashion. And finally, if I do timing start overall, I don't just have to do timing start and stop. If I want to see where I'm up to, I can say, show where the overall timer is up to, it's up to 2.5 seconds. Show where the overall timer is up to, it's five seconds. And then finally, we do timing stop, it took seven and a half seconds. Um, overall, this is a name I picked, it's not some keyword, you can choose whatever names you want. Uh, you can even have spaces in there if you put them in double quotes. So very, very cool. One thing to note, uh, timing only exists in the SQL plus command. Uh, it's not supported in SQL CL. Set timing is supported in both, but just the timing command is only supported in SQL 